Welcome all back to a steamy, steamy day in Texas, y'all. Thanks for being here. We are going to hit the water today in the Silver Bullet, freshly back from the cool waters of Lake Michigan. Last video took the crispy out trying to catch catfish. Didn't work out, but I have been dying to show you guys and me personally test this thing out. So we're gonna see this thing together, what I am calling the Doppler 9000. What is the Doppler 9000, you might ask? Well, that's what I'm calling it, just because it's so crazy. If you look at my trolling motor, it's uh, it's got a lot going on. But what is new on the Silver Bullet right now is I've got a motorized turret that is able to, separately from the trolling motor, scan the waters with the live scope. Now, in theory, this is gonna make life a lot easier for me to go out, sit on brush piles, or just angle to banks and not having to adjust my trolling motor. Downsides, it's slower. It is a slower motor than the trolling motor itself. So for bass fishing, there may be some disadvantages with it. For crappie, I see all the advantage there. These have become popular over the past year. They've been kind of hard to get, but when my trolling motor broke at a lake earlier this season, I was getting it repaired at this place called Texas Boatworks and the guy Aaron, that runs the place. I uh, was fixing my trolling motor and I saw this motorized turret. I said, man, I've been seeing those. Is there, can you get your hands on one of those? Can you put them on my boat? And he was able to get one fairly fast for me and install it on the silver bullet. And it was it's actually so big now, my whole trolling motor system, that I had to uh, get the cover adjusted. The cover would not even fit on there. So Texas Boat Works, uh, they hooked me up with uh, up redoing the cover and adding uh, the Doppler 9000 to this thing. So let's get out there on the water and I'll show you guys what this is, how it works, and yes, we are going to snatch some fish with this thing. All right guys, so this is the unit right here. This is the this is the right height makes this one. See here, turret T20. And this right here is the live scope mounted on the turret. And then there's a separate foot pedal right here. So when I press all these buttons, this turns. By the way, that right there, just holding that with my finger, uh, it's probably about 125 degrees. That is scorching, scorching hot. And that is basically how it works. But in order to get this on here, I've got a lot going on here because I've got the 360. So uh, that is on a, an extra bracket. And then we've got an extra bracket for the, the right height, the Doppler 9000. So this thing is, it's got a lot going on. It's hefty to say the least. Now, unfortunately, when I went up to the Great Lakes, I wasn't even able to, to utilize this. I never even turned on my live scope because I was sight fishing basically 100% of the time, bed fishing for smallmouth. Uh, by the way, those videos are going to be on our uh, Guggen Squad channel. We, we do a Northern Dangle every year. It's so much fun, but I didn't get to utilize that. This, being back in Texas, 114 degrees outside fish moving offshore getting on the brush piles and just suspended and doing weird summer fish things this should work really well so i got the crappie poles we're going to rig up some crappie stuff maybe even get get a few bass who knows but i can't wait to try this out on the water all right boys hotter than satan's tan out here i can't wait definitely want to be prepared with that okay so trolling motor down live scope on got a little bit of an orientation issue happening here Let's see if it fixes itself there it goes well mm, what's it wanting to do here Oh, 
Well, it's not wanting to orient right. Let's try that again. If I slam it in there. So what's crazy, all right, so I just identified the pile. Turn the trolling motor 180 degrees, start going backwards, I'm still on it. Still on it, so now I'm gonna need to rotate it. Okay, so right here's the pile, it's, it's actually behind me. So the turret, the turret is facing a different direction. That's how it moves. I, I still haven't determined whether, I don't know what's for. Is it the, is that little arrow or is it like the beam? The wide part is, we're gonna find out. Okay, spot lock 10 feet out. The beam, the arrow, the skinny part is what is facing. At first I thought it was like the wide part, like being in the beam, but when you think about it, live scope's not really a, a wide uh, beam. It's really, really narrow. So, okay, we got that figured out. Let's grab ourselves a jig. We'll start with a heavy one. I'm going, I've got two rigged on. I've got an eighth ounce and I've got a sixteenth ounce. So this is the, the eighth ounce fishing. Uh, it's about 12 to 15 feet of water. There goes my jig. All right, I'm starting to get the hang of this now. We got one guy right on top. Oh, this is so dialed. Oh, we're about to get spanky McDoodled here. Just got a bite. Oh, goodness. Still got him on. Real exploded. And there we go. Within, I'm going to say, five minutes of use, we have the first crappie. This one has a, uh, a little nose damage. I'm going to guess he's been caught before and returned. This thing is going to be a thousand degrees. Sorry, buddy. We'll put it in the water, cool it off. See if you make the cut. Oh man, you're just just a hair under. Mostly just tiny fish on this one, guys. So I'm gonna pull up, head to another spot. All right, All right we got a new pile here. I don't know who planted this, but thank you. It's a fresh one. Still, still has got a lot of the leaves and stuff on it. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of establishment here. A lot of big fish, but there's definitely a lot of bait. Uh, so I'm, I'm assuming that there's going to be some, you know, some fish get on this eventually. But just to just to kind of show you guys the Doppler 9000 here. So I'm going to hold this in my hand so you guys can kind of see it in real time. But as I move this turret, we're spot locked right now. Spot locked. As I move this turret, you'll be able to see more of the pile. So you can really line things up. Even though the boat's moving around, shifting, you make your little, little micro adjustments with this. That is awesome. And it allows you, like once you find a good spot, you can kind of just, you can scan around it um, without having to move your trolling motor. And uh, maybe you'll find something else, you know, really close to it, but, but really, it's it's for this right here. It's little micro dials like boop, boop. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the whole meat of it. Instead of going back and forth with the trolling motor, and maybe you get off off the spot a little bit. You're having to do a little guesswork, which is which is fine. You can totally do that. This is just uh, this is the lazy man's way of doing it. Ooh, that's a bigger fish moving in there right now. For sure bigger fish. I don't know if that's a bass or what, but he just moved in there. Oh, something big's coming over to it. There he is. Saw that one. Oh, God, that was a bass. Saw him come over to it and grab it. Or 
already got them coming up to it. They must be tiny. Got him. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a crappie. Little guy. I'm sorry you had to reach the surface of my deck. Surface of my boat. It's about like the sun. Little guy. They kind of blend in with the leaves, those fresh leaves. And when you throw down there, you'll just see them come out of it. Not very big and not very enticed. There's the jig falling very slowly. And we've reached the leaves. Oh, big ball of bait. Big ball of bait came in there. Look at that. Something's flushing that. Something just flushed everything out of there. Wow. That was insane. I'm just idling points, guys. That's all I'm doing. Just idling points, looking for piles. Typical summer stuff. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Dinner time. Alright, now it's time to use use a little uh a little scanning action, a little Doppler action for some white bass. They are just covering up the bottom right now. I'm monitoring the school, the Doppler unit. Oh, just got hit. God, there's so many. Re look at them, just rapid fire down there. Golly, they're attacking that spoon. I'm just not connecting. God, that is incredible. Look how many are just going after it. Not eating it though. Maybe they want it all on the bottom. Got him. Gotcha. Little bud. All right. Scan. Just to the left now. The herd is migrating hard. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. There we go. Oh, geez. See the line just flinching up. That is so fun. Yeah, buddy. A little better. Oh, yeah. Good. Those are eater babies right there. That is a fun fight right there. I have got to get my daughter out here catching these things. Where'd Joe go? Scan left. Scan right. They're just moving just a hair. Goodness, this is something big. This is probably a large mouth. Yep, coming up to jump. Big old largey mouth. Oh my goodness, look at you eating. Oh, he broke my line. God. Dad gum it. Oh man, that was about a four pounder. Was not expecting that. I had six pound line on here from drop shotting in uh, Michigan. Forgot, forgot that we were back in Texas where you never know 
and you're gonna get into a big largey. Dad got it. How about we change up a little bit here? We fish a reaction rod. I really like fishing a spinning rod for spoons because when you're looking at them on the graph, like I'm doing, you can get it down to them so fast. You know, instead of, you know, opening, uh, you, you know, just big caster versus spinning, you open the bale, it, get down, it gets down there really fast. We got one more of these prototype jigging spoons. I hope I don't lose this one. That one's a little heavier. Scan left. Scanning. Where do I cast? Right there. Right there is where I cast. Already got one on. Oh yeah, buddy. Come here, bud. Don't run into the Doppler. Yeah, these are some good ones here. Some big ones. Look at that school. Oh, well, I got a school attack in this one. Look at the school that's come off the bottom after this. Just going crazy over it. It just seems like they eat it a lot better closer to the bottom though. I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big thrusty. Bringing the whole entire school. Look at that giant school of them, holy moly. Biggins. These are fun, fun size right here. If my daughter wasn't, oh, look at this. Look at the mud on this fish. It's either shad poop or mud. That's probably poop. If my daughter wasn't in uh, gym class and swimming today and wasn't worn out, I would, I would get her out here right now. Back at the treehouse, harsh sun in the face. Sun's going down right now. But final thoughts on the Doppler 9000. I'm about it. I'm 100% about it, guys. I, I mean, it, for bass, for offshore fishing bass, it's fantastic. I mean, just, just lining up with those fish on those brush piles, just keep it locked on them. It's really awesome. The disadvantage is the speed. I mean, you're just not getting the speed to quickly uh, go down a bank and look but another thing that I really like is being able to go down a bank and then 45 this thing so you're just you're just looking at the bank where you're going to be casting uh, as you're keeping the trolling motor straight not having to just constantly scan and look to the side so that's the big thing I can't really see the arrow that well and speed that's a factor if I could make uh, some upgrades to this thing it would be uh, like a two motor drive system where you have a high speed and low speed uh, beyond that just go ocular you know just zzz, zzz, zzz. get a button to, to stop when you want to stop uh, moving the turret with your face I don't know guys when is it too much when does it become too much let me know in the comments should we cut it off right now or should we just keep going when the fish just have nowhere to hide Maybe one day they're all, they'll all revert back to like going in the super shallow cover year round, living in like two feet of water just to get away from the pains. I, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. I'm enjoying catching them with it right now, so I, I can't knock it. And special thanks to Aaron over at Texas Boatworks for installing this bad boy. And he had someone uh, locally do the, do the boat cover, so it, it's, it all fits really nicely. I towed the whole thing up to, uh, to Michigan with the adjusted cover. Fits really good. So. Um, if you want to get one of these put on there or you just want like special works on your electronics uh, You can hit them up and thank you guys as always for hanging with me on the water and here at the treehouse We'll be back out there soon in the great outdoors. God bless you. Godspeed. We'll see you soon